Hi guys, C-Mac from thebullcrabs.com. You can find me at C-Mac Paperbacks on Instagram, and I'm here to do another book review with you. It's hard. I keep looking at myself. I cut my hair. Do you guys cut your hair? <laughs> um, it's just weird because it seems really extra short today. So I am reviewing A Flicker in the Dark by Stacey Willingham. This does not get released till January 2022. I got an early copy thanks to Book of the Month. Please check out bullcraps.com for a link to get a discount if you'd like to join with me and get early releases and new authors and just pick from five different books every month. And it's really cool. They, they really help me find my next read. So what did I think about this though? So on Goodreads, it has a lot of five stars. So immediately when I saw this was one of the five options I could pick from Book of the Month, I was very excited to see the rating and I picked it up right away. And the second I got my box, I dove into it. I read this in about two days. Um, it's a very easy read. So if we wanna start our review system, review rating system up at five stars, I'm knocking it down to four due to the writing. So the writing had a lot of filler. It's that kind of writing where we have to say many words to say a very simple thing that's happening. Um, a very piddly example is when someone goes missing, they show on the news and they do the typical, if you've seen this girl, please contact us at 555 or to do the parents would like it. It's a whole paragraph of a standard news announcement. And it's just not something that has to be put in words to take up space in a book. And I know that's a very piddly example, but um, the whole book is kind of feels like it's written like that, where we're just trying to fill the pages with words and a lot of the words weren't important. If you know what I mean, there's some books that you read and every single sentence is important and it's almost like poetry and it pulls you in and if you read the sentence too quick you feel like you have to go back and really take it in and this book is the exact opposite of it and it's enough of an opposite that I have to drop it a star. Um, I'm, I'm used to some of these quick you know airport books or quick storytelling books where it's you can just chug through it and read it in a few days because it's just so easy to inhale the words and but this one had enough of that plus annoying and so I have to drop it. Um, the other issue if you will with this book is I was going for I started this book and I was going for a walk with my husband and I said I just started this book and I think I already know who did it because this is a whodunit book you got to find that out at the end and I said I think I already know. And I said, if I do know, I will have no choice to drop out a star because I'm I'm way too way I haven't even bar- I haven't even started the book and I feel like I get it. And I was right. So that's another star that's being dropped. Um it's just I'm actually not that good at guessing who done it in a who done it. And I, I guessed it. So that made me really sad and that's why this book is sitting at three stars for me. Um to me, there's nothing special about this book, which was also kind of disappointing. And there's nothing really that sticks out that makes me go, wow, what a what a different book. What an exciting... So it's just, it was kind of disappointing, but I don't regret reading it. And I really did enjoy the ride. Again, it like I said, it didn't take me that long to get through. I enjoyed the ride of the story and... I wouldn't recommend this book to readers like me who read a lot of books and um, really love the whodunit mystery thriller genre. This book, um, it's just not going to do it for you. For, I don't know how to put it, the average reader, someone who just wants to pick up a book on a plane and just really soak and enjoy it, you'll love this. So I'm, I'm a split I'm a, it's a split wreck for me. It, it depends on who I'm talking to is who, how I'll recommend this. But overall, pretty good. 
I'm excited to see more from this author. I think she still laid out the plot and the storyline really well. She still hit our high points and our low points. And overall, good book, good dialogue. Um, I just wish I, I just wish it, it had the five stars for me that a lot of the other reviews had. So, did you read it? Let me know in the comments below. Do you agree with me? Am I nuts? Or should I just stop? I don't know. <laughs> uh, let me know in the comments below. Love to hear from you there. Check out other books I'm reading at bullcrabs.com. And I'll check you later.